So here in Hampton Roads, we have a little bit of everything, something for everyone. We have city life, we have suburban living, and for those of us who need to get out and experience nature, we have places like this. Welcome to Greenbrier Farms. I'm here today with Tori Bassnight Allen, and she's the wedding and events planning manager here at Greenbrier Farm. Tori, tell me a little bit about the history of this farm. Yeah, so the farm has been around for several years. Um, the farmhouse was actually built in the 1914, so been a long way before you or I. Uh, farmhouse still has original flooring, a beautiful wraparound porch, um, and you know when we first got here, it was just not being used. We wanted to be able to open it up for others to be able to appreciate it as much as we did. Okay. So we started doing events, and um, you know now we have over 500 acres. Well, what used to be 500 acres now about 300 acres. Um, some of the plots have been sold off for development. Um, but now we're using it for events throughout the entire farm. We do, you know, pumpkin patches to weddings and corporate events, a little bit of everything. I'm here with Kristen Fritz and she's in charge of the barnyard animals and the bounce house. So Kristen, can you tell me a little bit about this area? Yeah, we have a huge barnyard area. We have everything from cows and goats, horses, mini horses. We have Lily and Bullseye. We have baby pigs chickens, rabbits, you can walk through, touch all of them. You can buy animal feed cups and carrots. Um, and the animal feed cups, you get to take the cup home and keep it, but you get to walk around and feed any of the animals you want. There aren't any animals here that you can't feed. I'm sure like the our, kids enjoy it too. Yes, yes, and then we have our barnyard area. Our barnyard area goes over to our playground, so most of the time people come over, we keep our feed cups over in the playground. Right. and. Um, they walk over there, they get their feed cups, they get to walk around all day. It's endless fun. Kids are here for hours, awesome. morning till nine to six. Kristen, tell me a little bit about Miss B's Market. Yeah, so Miss B's Farmer's Market is our storefront for all of our locally grown produce. We grow cabbage, broccoli, carrots, strawberries. We do pick your own, okay. um, pick your own for everything. We even do wildflowers, sunflowers, tulips, pumpkins, anything that you can think of that would be on a farm, we have. And this is our storefront to sell it all. Um, down to flowers, we have other locally made um, candies, jarred goods, peanuts, anything that you can think of that you'd want that's local, we have it here. But most of it produce wise, we're growing it here. You can pick your own or we have it up here for sale. Well, thanks again for walking me through this great Thank you. market. Thank you. The animals and the bounce houses. Yeah, and of course, else. anytime. We're always open. We're always here Monday through Sunday. Um, it's always, always fun on the farm. <laughs> well, thank, thank you. you. Uh, Aaron Sinks, he's the mulch yard and plant area manager. Aaron, tell me a little bit about Green Valley Farms and what you guys do here. Um, well, we are a local nursery that grows flowers, plants, bushes, trees, um, anything for your landscaping needs from mulch to compost to 3 8 size rock to 50 pound boulders. Oh, wow. um, so if someone wants to do riprap in their backyard, you guys are the place to come. Yeah, we carry riprap. Okay. Um, two different kinds of riprap. You know, they got the 25 pounders and then they got the 150 pound rock. So wow. I see a lot of different mulch here. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, we carry several different kinds because everybody has their own preference from the natural to the dark brown walnut, the chestnut to red, to the certified playground mulch, okay. to black, to cypress. The red's been dyed. Um, the brown walnuts died, the chestnuts died, um, and it just helps keep the color that you choose so it lasts longer. Hey, I appreciate you talking to me today, Aaron, and then thanks keep, for coming keep out here. Work. Thank you. So when you're visiting Greenbrier Farms, one thing you'll notice as you walk around is everywhere you go, you're smelling food. Yeah, the food is like the most newest portion of our business. Um, we have been around for years and years. Uh, about three years ago, we finally made the big leap to open the Hive food truck. Um, and since then, we've been incorporating the farm to table. Uh, we've got our fresh salads. We've 
the lettuce is actually growing out there in the fields and our farmhouse salad is actually made here on the farm. So and then throughout the seasons, like during strawberry season, we cut up strawberries and those go on the salad. Uh, during peach season, cut up the peaches, put those on the salad. So I know you, uh, you're a busy person and I definitely appreciate you spending the time with me today. And I, I love this place and so does my family and we'll definitely be back. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. Our goal is definitely to be geared towards families and the community. So it means a lot that you're helping us just find another way to get out there in front of the public and tell everybody else in the community that we're here. My pleasure. So whether you're looking for some seasonal picking or a place to host a special event, or if you're just out to have some fun, come on down to Greenbrier Farms and make this part of your American dream. You know what, I'm dreaming about strawberries. I'm gonna eat this thing.